Hi guys, so today I thought I would update you on what's been happening with my um, natural thyroid healing journey. I haven't updated you for a few months, I think, at least two or three months. So it's time to share with you what's been working, what hasn't been working. Some things have been mirac miraculous and some things that have just been a waste of time. So if any of you are going through something similar, this video is probably going to be quite interesting for you. So let's get started. First thing I talked about was balancing my hormones and I was taking a supplement called DIM. I still have it. I haven't finished the first bottle because I took it for, I think, a couple of months or a month and a half maybe. And then I stopped because my skin looked amazing at the beginning. I felt amazing at the beginning, but then everything kind of went downhill again and then got good again. So basically my skin and the way I feel, my energy levels and everything just goes through um, cycles, you could say. It goes better and then it gets worse. It gets better and gets worse. And it doesn't have anything to do with you know any kind of supplements that I take well some of them actually do make a huge difference but dim did not make that difference so I think that my problem wasn't estrogen dominance as much as I thought because this supplement didn't really make any kind of huge difference beyond the first month but it does help a lot of people it helped Tracy from the love my vitamin a lot so I still think it's a great supplement I just don't think it made enough of a difference to keep spending money on it. The next thing I talked about was selenium and I'm not taking selenium anymore either because I felt like I probably had enough selenium already because I live on a volcanic island so the soil here is naturally full of selenium so all of the vegetables and fruit that I eat from here and pretty much everything I eat is from here is already naturally full of selenium so I felt that perhaps I was overdosing by taking supplemental um, selenium and also I started getting a bit more hair loss and hair loss is one of the signs of too much selenium in the body so I decided to just be cautious and stop taking it um, but if you're not living on a volcanic island then you might be deficient in selenium I know that for example Greece or um, Turkey are areas of really low selenium so it's definitely worth looking into if you have any kind of thyroid issues but for me it wasn't the answer. The next thing I talked about was zinc. I still take it, I just don't take it every single day. I take around 15 milligrams, maybe two or three times a week, or a couple times a week whenever I remember. I just supplement a little bit on top of what I already get from the food. I definitely think that zinc is very important, um, and I didn't really see a huge difference. I still get these white spots on my nails sometimes, so I don't think they have anything to do with and zinc deficiency is something else. They did get better, but it's not something to do with the supplement. So I'm still taking it in lower doses, kind of maintenance doses, but I don't think that it made a huge difference to my health. The next thing I talked about was magnesium, and magnesium is probably the most important thing out of all the things I've been doing. It literally changed my life. The magnesium supplements didn't change my life so much because for a lot of people it's difficult to absorb magnesium and I'm one of them. So I was taking all these supplements and they were not making a lot of difference. But then I started making my own magnesium oil and applying it on my skin every single morning and that's what changed everything for me. Because by applying it on the skin you kind of avoid all the digestive tract. So if your digestive tract isn't absorbing minerals very well then if you apply it through the skin your body will still get them. And that's definitely the best way. And also, you don't risk getting too much magnesium and getting, you know, loose bowels and stuff like that because your body only takes what it needs from the skin and it doesn't take more than that. So I've been really loving that and I'll be sharing with you the recipe of uh, the magnesium oil. It's super cheap and super easy to make and it's seriously life-changing. I also made my parents buy some for themselves and I just think every single home should have a bottle of magnesium oil. It's just amazing. It really changed my energy levels, it changed my mood, it changed even the quality of my digestion, it changed the way my teeth feel, it really transformed my body more than anything I've ever tried in my life. I think one of my biggest problems was a really bad magnesium deficiency. Now the question is why do I have this really bad magnesium deficiency? I still don't know but supplementing with magnesium has been 
amazing. Next thing I talked about was adaptogenic herbs and I talked about Tulsi and Ashwagandha. I took them for two or three months and they were amazing. Then I stopped because with herbs it's always very good to take a little break. I'm about to restart taking them every single morning as a tea. I think they're great. I highly recommend them. They really calm you down, give you this focused energy. They work like coffee but much better because they don't make you jittery and you know really unbalanced. They actually ground you and give you steady energy throughout the day. They kickstart the thyroid if you have problems with thyroid. Ashwagandha is amazing for that. So definitely still recommend them. I also talked about digestive enzymes. Uh, well, basically I talked about uh, improving my digestion so with enzymes, with uh, digestive bitters and with something called betaine and pepsin. So I'm not really taking those things anymore because I finished the... Um, the digestive bitter and I didn't feel like it made a huge difference for me. I am not taking digestive enzymes at the moment but I think maybe I'll start taking them again and see if it makes any kind of difference but I didn't find any kind of difference. Last time I tried again they made me feel amazing for the first few days and then it just went downhill from there. Betting and pepsin was a bit of a disaster for me because both times I felt amazing for the first week and then I started getting much worse so I had to stop both times, so I don't think it's the right thing for me to use. One thing that did work really well for me is lemon juice. I still drink lemon water every single morning, so I juice one half of lemon and I put it into two glasses of water and I do that every single morning. I also sometimes drink some before meals, like half an hour before meals, and that definitely encourages the secretion of uh, stomach juice and makes everything digest so much better. So I still do that, I just don't take the supplements anymore and I think my digestion has been doing much better. The next thing I talked about was the gluten-free diet. I'm still on it, still not eating gluten and I'm still happy about it. But, as always, I hope that it's not forever. I really don't think that complete healing, healing has taken place unless a person is able to eat everything. So I'm not going to stop trying to heal myself until I'm able to eat every single food group. So I'm confident I'm going to get there. I just need some time and some more experimentation. But for now, I'm sticking, uh, all, I'm sticking to my gluten-free diet and... I'm quite enjoying it to be honest, it's not that bad. I also talked about limiting calcium to around 700 milligrams per day and sticking to a good ratio between calcium and magnesium of around 1 to 1 or even 2 to 1 and I'm not really doing it that strictly anymore. I don't really count how much calcium I take, I just make sure all my calcium comes from raw dairy or uh, fermented dairy, I don't use any kind of commercial dairy or pasteurized milk or anything like that. So I probably get between 700 to 1000 milligrams of calcium every single day. And then for magnesium, I get a lot of it from all the vegetables and fruit that I eat. And I also use the magnesium oil on my body every single day. So I think I probably still get around one to one of magnesium to calcium and it's definitely an important thing to remember. I talked about clean diet, of course I still eat very clean. I don't follow any kind of diet but I eat only real non-processed foods. I cook every single dish at home from scratch, I don't buy anything ready-made. We hardly ever go out to eat in restaurants, probably maybe a couple times a month and every time is such a disappointment. I don't know where to find good restaurants but we still eat really well and I still think that my clean, healthy diet is a huge step towards a much better health in the future. I still try to lead a relaxed and healthy lifestyle as much as I can. I still try to sleep as much as I can. So I always get around eight hours of sleep. I have been trying to go to bed earlier, but it's not easy. It's really not easy. I, I, wish, I wish I was sticking to that rule, but I still find myself going to bed at midnight way more often than I would like. So that's still something I'm definitely working on. But even if I go to bed later, I still make sure I get enough hours of sleep, so that's not too bad. I still try to avoid, you know, horror movies and all kinds of murder movies and all kinds of things like that. I still try to, to avoid horrible news on the newspapers. I try to stay away from people that don't make me feel good. So surrounding myself with positivity is still a very important part of my healing and it still works very well. I really wanted to get into meditation and I haven't done that properly. I tried a couple of times, but I just really can't get into 
into a kind of routine. I'm really trying though and I'm about to start again. I have this app called Calm, there's also a website called Calm that I used to use and now there's an app. Um, so I'm really going to start using that. I also have Head Start which Alex Icon uses all the time. I haven't really tried that yet so I have these two apps and all I need to do is just get determined and try it. I'll definitely try it because I think meditation is key to anybody's health and I know it's so important and I just need to motivate myself somehow. I don't know why I find it so hard sticking to any kind of routine. I just change every single day. It's so difficult for me. I think it's because I'm a Libra and Libras are just like that. They're like wind changing every single day. So there's definitely something I need to work on. Now exercising, I still haven't restarted exercising but I'm about to. I have been taking walks, not as much as I would like to again because Luca has been quite busy and I don't like going for walks alone. But we have been walking, we have been taking hikes and I managed to complete a huge hike of 16 kilometers which I think is around 10 miles and I didn't even get tired. It was amazing. It was like a huge, huge victory for me. So I still enjoy my walks. I still enjoy being in the nature and still enjoy getting some sun whenever I can. It's working really well for me. So I guess that these are all the things I've been doing so far and the update on how I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling much better. I still have bad days. Like for example, I've had a few really bad days um, just this week, but that's because I forgot to apply my magnesium oil for a few days and it really makes such a difference. If I don't apply it, I get all kinds of issues and I feel horrible. So as long as I apply it every single day, I feel normal, I feel great. That's why I really say it all the time. If you haven't tried it already, you need to because it's life changing. I have been feeling so much better in all the ways. My mind has been working much better. My concentration is better. My moods have been much more stable and much more positive. Uh, my skin, my hair, everything is so much better. My hair loss has completely stopped, which is cool. My teeth are probably around 95% better than they were a few months ago. So everything is looking up. Uh, and you know, this whole journey is just tweaking things and changing things and getting rid of the things that don't work. Uh, improving things that do work, adding more things that work and I'm sure that sooner or later everything is going to come into place and I'm going to gain my health back. So of course you can stay on this journey with me and I'll be updating you as I go. So a few new things I'm trying recently. I am um, taking a supplement called Master Gum because I suspect that I might have something called H. pylori. I believe in science and I think that uh, when you really want something, then God or universe or whatever you want to call it sends you signs and sends you answers. So I was really uh, visualizing perfect health and a couple of days after those visualizations, I got contacted by a friend who hasn't contacted me for a couple of years. She contacted me um, just, you know, just for a chat and she told me that she doesn't have any more skin problems and we used to have exactly the same skin issues just a few years before that and I asked her how did you do that, how, what happened and she basically told me that she saw a kind of naturopath who told her that she had H. pylori and that's why she was having all the skin issues. So I took that as a sign from the universe and I started googling and I found that H. pylori is also very high linked to thyroid, autoimmune issues and, and all kinds of issues and it kind of really looked like what I have. So I decided to get that natural uh, supplement called Master Gum and I decided to try to take it for the whole course and see what happens there. So I guess I'll keep you posted on that. The other thing I've been trying is eating a lot of raw homemade yogurt from the goat, from the goats that we go to take from the farm. I make it myself. I think it's super healing. It makes my tummy really, really happy. Constipation is really a thing of the past for me. My bowels just work perfectly now. So everything is working so much better. I also try to go off any kind of grains for a, couple, a few weeks actually and I didn't feel any better actually I felt really bad and my blood sugar became unstable and it started going up again so I realized that my body really likes the grains so I added back my quinoa, I added back my amaranth, um, some rice and the next morning my blood sugar was perfect so go figure I think my body just really likes grains but of course non-gluten grains for now so I guess 
this is everything I wanted to update you on. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you could relate to my journey if you're going through something similar. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.